Hi guys, it's Marty, and today I'm going to be showing you how to put 3D text into a picture and make it look real. Alright, so this is what you're going to be learning today. Uh, I did this a few weeks ago, and I was pretty pleased with it because it looks quite real. And uh, hopefully, you'll have something like this by the end of this video. So, you want a picture, right? And you want it to have it a clear floor plane. Because if you see on this picture, it's got a big floor plane. And uh, that's what you really need. So, I just typed in car park into Google and got this. So uh, I'm going to be doing it on this photo. And uh, you can see that you can see the shadows of other things. And that this is going to help to make your photo look real. Because you see the shadows are going this way from the tree. So you, you know the sun is over here. So then your shadows of your text should be going that way as well. Alright, so you want to head on into Cinema 4D. Open up that. Alright, you want to click Create. New Material. Double click on the material. Uh, uncheck Specular. Texture. Load Image. Um, you want to select the image, click no, crest that off, um, go up here, go to background, um, drag this material onto the background. And you'll see there's lines here, right, going down. Th that's where it'll render when you render the picture. So you'll want to go here and make it a, bit, a little bit bigger. So I think I'm going to render it in full HD, that. I'm going to render it in that. So, the lines are bigger. See what I mean? This photo is stretched. Alright, so now, you see here, you can move this around, right? So you want to get this level with the floor like that. Okay? And then you want to go to the box and add a plane. And then you want to, without moving the plane, you want to go to MoGraph and then go to Mo Text. Alright, so the text is a bit big, so you'll want to Slice that down a little bit, and then you want to turn it around. So you click on here, click on the green, and just spin it around. Okay. You want to get it like that. All right. So you see the text is much much bigger than the plane, and uh, the plane is what the shadows are going to be like projected onto. So you want to make the plane much bigger. So just stretch it out. It doesn't matter how big it is because you won't be able to see it. Alright, so you only want to push that back a bit. Okay, so if you render that now, you'll see that the plane doesn't match up with the photo. So you want what to do is you want to drag the material onto the plane. But then if you render it there, it still doesn't look right. So what you want to go onto the material of the plane, change the projection to uh, frontal. But if you render it, it's still not right. So you want to right click plane. Cinema 4D tags, compositing. You want to uncheck self shadowing and uh, check compositing background. And hopefully, there you go. You won't be able to see it. So you want to select the text and the plane. And the plane, alright? You want to position the text wherever you want it. You can spin it around a little bit. Make sure that the plane and the text are selected. Alright. So I'm going to put my text about there. Um, you can change the size of your text, so I'm going to change the depth to 70, and then I'm going to change it down in size a bit, change the font, um, you can use your own font, but I would, I would like, if I would, I'll put the link in the description, right, of this font called BN Police, and I think it looks pretty sexy, but only if you have it in capitals, so I'm going to change this to um, Tutorial. Alright, put it, actually I put it in capitals because that's the only bad thing about this font. If it's not in capitals, it looks like shit. So tutorial. Okay. Size that down a little bit. It's a bit big. Right. There you go. Alright, so now if you click render, it doesn't look real at all, really, because it's, it's just doesn't have any shadows or anything. So you want to go up to light, get light, and you'll see this here, that little star, that's light. So you want to drag this to where you think the light is coming from in the picture. So as we looked at before, it's coming from the top left in our picture. So I want to drag it up to the left, like that. Okay? And then you want to click on shadow, you want to go to shadow and change that to shadow mask soft. Um, change the density to 85 
and then change the resolution to 200. Okay. And if you render that, that's got some shadows on it. It looks quite nice, but it still doesn't look realistic. So I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab the light, and you see the shadows they look too blunt. So you want to move the light further to the left, like that, and uh, up a bit. Hopefully that should make it look a bit more realistic. Um, it's still a bit blank because it doesn't have any colour. So you want to go create new material. All right. Um, double click on that material. Um, uncheck specular. I'm going to have a nice white colour. So put them all there. A little bit of luminance. Put that about 30. Go in texture, Fresnel. I'll put that about 30 too. And go in reflection as well. I'll put a reflection. Go in texture, Fresnel. Okay, nice shiny material there. So you want to drag that onto the text. and render so that looks quite nice that okay so if you're happy with that it I admit right it's not as good as this because I haven't spent as much time on it but if you want to spend more time on it getting the light correct um, on on the other, on the other picture I must have spent about an hour on that getting it like perfected but as you can see I've only spent a few minutes on this so when you render it you want to click on the settings, go to save, change the format to JPEG. Alright, so once you've done that, you want to go to options and uh, change the quality to 100. Click OK and then click on these three dots. Um, save it to whatever you want. I'm going to save it to the desktop. Call it test. There you go. Um, and then once you've done that, you just want to click this button here and it will render. Alright, so. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments or questions, just comment them below and um, I will answer. And uh, leave a video response as well. Um, and yeah, subscribe. Alright, bye.